Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. I have some exciting news regarding Enphase's latest home battery. Now, this video is going to be a little different compared to some of the videos I've done in the past as I really just wanna speak about what's new with this battery over the current 3T battery. Keep in mind, Enphase currently only manufactures one battery, it's the 3T, and you can connect three of them together to get the 10T uh, for 10 kilowatt hours of storage. It just gets a different enclosure and a different mounting bracket. So kinda keep that in mind. I plan on doing a comparison video of this new 5P battery against Canadian Solar EP Cube and the Franklin Whole Home battery, as well as maybe some other batteries like the Tesla Powerwall. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when this video is published. Of course, if you or someone you know is interested in going solar and or adding battery backup, then visit us online by using the link down in the description below. We make the process of switching to clean, renewable energy, easy and affordable. So use that link below to request your quote today. All right, so let's talk about this Enphase 5P battery. And what does the five mean? It means the storage rating. It is five kilowatt hours of storage. And that's about as half as much energy as the current 10T battery, which is 10 kilowatt hours. And again, that is using three of their 3T batteries to achieve that. Uh, the form factor is a little bit different with the 5P as well. Um, and you know, keep in mind, you can put two of them side by side together. It'll take up about as much space as the 10T. So don't think that this is a wider product. It is a little bit taller, but it fundamentally sits in that same 50 inches of wall space that the 10T takes up. Is five kilowatt hours enough for most homeowners? that's where we kind of run into some issues because it's a balance between the power output rating, which Enphase has kind of made some changes on here. So on the current generation, they are using the IQ8X and that microinverter is, you know, has some decent power output ratings. And when you have the 10T, the three batteries together, you have 3.84 kilowatts of power. That's a good amount of power. It's it's good medium backup. We, we apply that to a lot of our customers. It's not enough to start the air conditioner. What they've done with the 5P is actually take another microinverter they were developing for commercial use, and it was the dual microinverter, and it was called the IQ8D. I don't know exactly what happened with that microinverter uh, project, like the IQ8D at some point got abandoned for solar use and was applied towards battery uh, manufacturing. So they designed the 5P with these IQ8D microinverters. Uh, the IQ10T has 12 of those IQ8X bat microinverters in them. So that's a lot of microinverters. And the idea was they're hot swappable. The problem is Enphase never really achieved that with their battery. I, I, something with the BMS, but we've, we've had that happen where a microinverter failed in one of the 3T units for the enclosure. And you know the other 11 are still working, and so they would send us a replacement microinverter. We would try to pull it out and put it back in with the new one, and nothing. It wouldn't. It just wouldn't work at all. So I, I don't know why that ever occurred. But the fewer microinverters you have with your battery, the better, in my opinion. And uh, the 8D uses six microinverters to achieve as much power as that 10T. So yes, you get half as much storage, you're getting five kilowatt hours, but you're getting 3.84 kilowatts of power output. Now having two units together is giving you over 7.6 kilowatts. You know, is that better? Yeah, you're getting more backup capabilities. You should be able to start an air conditioner. Typically when we've been installing the 10 T's for customers, if they want whole home backup, which includes is like a three or four ton air conditioner, we recommend two of the units. We can't do it on a single 10 T. Um, and that, that kind of ties together. So you're, you're taking up as much wall space as a 10 T, you know, for the form factor, and you're getting double the power output with the same amount of storage this is where it gets kind of unique because you have to decide, do you want more storage or do you want more power? Enphase's system is, is kind of cost prohibitive in this sense. And we're gonna you know, kind of discuss that because you need a new automatic transfer switch to use the 5P battery as well as a new combiner box. So the IQ System Controller 3 comes in two models. 
the standard model, which supports 40 kilowatt hours of storage, and then the generator model, which supports 20 kilowatt hours of storage, and then a generator. So you have to decide which one you want in the beginning if you plan on expanding your system over time. The combiner box, if you have a current generation like an IQ3 or an IQ4 and you wanted this battery, it would need to be upgraded to the IQ5 because Enphase has gone with a completely hardwired communication protocol. That means the Envoy's hardwired to the system controller and the system controller and the Envoy are wired to the batteries. So you know, there's a lot more things going on here. and But it should hopefully mean it's more reliable because something that we've seen and Enphase has experienced with their current generation of batteries is the wireless communication protocol that they're using has some drawbacks. And they've really gotten it dialed in over the last couple of years, uh, but they've definitely struggled with it nonetheless with the range of installers and applications for the battery. And, and given that it's wireless, you can't install the battery, say, 30, 40, 60 feet away and know it's 100% going to work like you could with a wired communication protocol, which I believe they're using a CAN bus. Um, I don't know. It's, it's really weird, and the pricing get, makes it even weirder. So two 5P units are more expensive than a single IQ10 unit, but you get double the power. You know, So you're getting 7.6 kilowatts of power output, versus 3.8 and you're getting this you know you're getting the same storage 10 kilowatt hours you know so you're spending more for more power whereas you could spend more two IQ10s is more than two 5Ps but you get more storage you're getting 20 kilowatt hours of storage and only 7.6 kilowatts of power or you know so it's 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 kind of weird you know i it's going to be a little bit of a complicated project for uh, homeowners and us to recommend because we really need to understand what you're trying to do. Or is storage more important to you? Which I feel storage is more important than the power output. It's a balance, of course, between the two. But I kind of feel Enphase kind of went in a weird direction here. And I voiced that early on. And I've kind of alluded to that in some of my other videos because I've known about the 5P for about a year now. Um, it's important to note that it's not cross-compatible. So if you get a 5P right now, you can't add a 10T or, an, or a 3T. You know, you have to keep adding this P series. And um, if you have a 10T right now, you can't add a 5P. They, they're, you know, they're two different product lines. You have a hardwired product line, basically, and then you have a wireless product line. Um, I feel the 10T is still going to be a more popular choice amongst our customers over the 5P, especially under the uh, solar billing program by Edison and SDG&E. You want more storage. The, you need more storage. You don't necessarily need more power. You need more storage to last between that peak times, say, 4 to 9 p.m. Uh, you don't want, and you want to be cost effective. You don't want to be buying a bunch of batteries to get the same amount. The power output's really only valuable in a backup situation. For most of us in Southern California, the battery is more beneficial to be self-sufficient, so having more storage is better because we can use the grid to turn on the air conditioner and then run it off the battery during a normal grid usage. Whereas with a power outage, you know, you, you, you need more power, sure, but can you go without the air conditioner and run the whole house with the solar and the battery? See, in phase, it, it's kind of this balance between it. They, they kind of did this weird thing. It, it's kind of unique. It definitely is unique. And um, I think they're both a good product, but it's a matter of your application maybe. It, it's like, hey, how far do we are we installing this battery? Is it going to be difficult for us to install it in a garage or near the equipment? Maybe we want to look at the 5P instead. Um, you know, because it, it is a nice form factor. And like I said, two of the units side by side with per end phase, a three inch gap uh, is about 50 inches wide. So it's, it's, it's still pretty wide. I mean, 50 inches is, is over four feet of wall space, pretty much four feet of wall space um, from left to right. So, and I think now it's, it's about, it's a little taller than the 10T by a foot. So it's almost four feet tall. You almost have a box in that regards. Um, so we'll have to see at the end of the day what, what ends up happening with the 5P battery. We're going to continue to offer the 10T. I do want to note one more thing regarding the 5P and Enphase is including a standard 
15 year warranty at 60% and 6,000 cycles. So the 5P comes with that standard warranty, which the 10T and the 3T, you had to buy the extended warranty to get 15 years. You had to buy that extra five years of warranty. And uh, I, from my understanding, Enphase does plan on extending that uh, 15 year warranty to the current generation and foregoing the extended warranty coverage. I don't know how many people actually purchase that extended warranty. I've tried to get some information uh, through some of the reps at Enphase and they, they don't seem to have any information regarding like how many people buy that warranty. Regardless, um, I'm, I, I think the, the 5P has some potential. The 10T has always uh, been a good product for us and for our customers. We have had li very uh, little complaints from our customers regarding the 10T, less of you know, we've, we've definitely replaced our fair share of those units um, for failures. But uh, a lot of that was related to the wireless communication. So going to hardwired, I don't know. We'll just have to see, you know, I'd love to get your feedback. Please leave some comments down below so that way I have some insight on what you think of this new 5P battery and if you think it's something you would want to add to your existing Enphase system. Keep in mind, Enphase's batteries are only compatible with Enphase's microinverters and the 10T had its limitations. You were looking at the IQ6, the IQ7s, the IQ8s, and then the older generations, I believe you could do the M215 and the M250, and that was it. I believe the 5P opens it up to a little bit more, and I think you can do the M215s, the M250s, the S280, and then all the IQ series, the 6, 7, and current 8. So. But uh, yeah, that's all I got in this week's video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate that. Give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. And of course, leave some comments down below if you're, you know, you got your opinion. I'd love to know what you think. Um, and and um, let's not forget that we're in the business of installing and selling solar and storage. So if you live in our area of Southern California and you're interested in getting a quote, use the link down in the description below. I can give you a quote for a 5P and or a 10T. You can compare for yourself and make the decision on which is better for your application. So well, I appreciate the time and I'll see you in the next one.